Hi there, Steve Kaufman here. I have come back from my ski holiday. I was at Big White uh, for about six, seven days with uh, my wife, my son Mark and his wife and their three kids. Uh, fabulous uh, first three, four days, very sunny. Then we had some uh, poor visibility. If you look up Big White on the internet, you'll see that it's a fabulous area. They've had, I think, 12 centimeters of snow in the last eight hours. Great snow. I took some pictures. I'll be putting them up there. Um, but now I'm back. We uh, had to drive through. You have to drive basically over two mountain passes. One is the Okanagan connector, which connects uh, Kelowna with Merritt, and then over the Coquihalla. And there's a huge snowstorm there on the Coquihalla Highway, right uh, through the mountains. And I, of course, saw that on the internet, so I was able to sneak through there. We had a lot of snow yesterday. Uh, I was cross-country skiing in an area called the Telemark, uh, something or other, cross-country area out of Kelowna, because my wife and I spent two nights in Kelowna with some very good friends. And so we had snow there. Uh, then we had a window this morning. We were able to get out four hours driving over to uh, mountain ranges to get back to Vancouver. Uh, I just want to have a bit of a rant here. Um, a little bit tired. We've been staying up late and drinking wine with friends and so forth, and uh, driving home and that. Uh, reading the newspaper, and there was this uh, protest. So there's a sort of a native protest going on in Canada. Uh, and some of the protesters with their sign had a bunch of gibberish on it, saying, and then it had at the bottom, "Just saying." And there's this. Whenever I see this, "Just saying," like people will comment on my blog or here and come out with whatever opinion they have and then just say, just saying. That it really annoys me. Really. What, what is meant by just saying? Like, if I have an opinion, I present my opinion. I'm not just saying. I'm expressing my opinion. Uh, the person listening can either agree or disagree. But this just saying implies, like, I don't really want to have a discussion on the subject. Uh, but what I am saying, you know, uh, is obviously right and irrefutable, and I'm just kind of tossing it out there, uh, but I don't want you to in any way dissect it or discuss it or contradict me, because I don't want to have an argument, because I'm just saying. And, and this kind of attitude I find is quite common. I don't know where it comes from. I don't remember seeing that 20, 30 years ago, but today it's very common, uh, you know, let's not have an argument, uh, like, uh, I just think this, and so there you go, just saying. Um, I'm not that way, you know, and I think it's, it's whatever we do, we should do it um, in a spirit of, like, how about rather than just saying, don't say that, say, just go for it. Again, the friend that I stayed with in Kelowna has been pretending to study uh, Spanish for three years, has never done much. Don't just dabble, you know, go for it. If you want to learn, uh, put the effort in and you'll learn. Or don't do it, do something else. But don't sort of just saying or just half-heartedly doing. Uh, that's not my style. But I guess other people are different. I'm enjoying my Korean. I did a fair amount of cross-country skiing up at Big White, and that gave me an opportunity to listen to Korean. It's still not as much fun to listen to Korean because the content is still somewhat boring compared to what I can listen to in Russian and Czech. But I'm making progress. I have now gone to uh, Wikipedia in Korean, and I'm reading up on Korean history. Uh, I'm sort of isolating more and more of the basic patterns of Korean and reading them over and over again, reviewing my examples at Link. Uh, and I've started speaking to a tutor, uh, little Monyu, as she's known at Link, one of our tutors, and uh, if she agrees, perhaps the next time I speak to her, I will record the discussion so you can get a sense of just how poor my Korean is at this stage. Bear in mind that I studied Korean about seven or eight years ago for about six months on my own. This is before we had it at Link. Uh, and of course, I'm helped very much by the fact that... Um, 50% of the words in Korean are of Chinese origin, or even a larger percentage. And the sentence, the word order, is very similar to Japanese. So I think I have a big advantage over someone who doesn't have any experience in Asian languages. So you'll be hearing from me with regard to Korean. Um, other than that, I'm trying to see if I can line up some interesting discussions. David Mansure has contacted me about a possible discussion about independent education. And, I mean, there's no question in my mind that we have to move in that direction. 
Uh, I mentioned on my blog that uh, there was an article in the Canadian uh, press about uh, that, that stated that the average debt load for a student of student loans, like people graduating from university, took 14 years to repay. I don't believe that anyway. It's based on their assumptions as to how much money a person would make and how much they would actually be able to save and repay their loans. But nevertheless, people get indebted to the tune of 20, 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars. I mean, four years at university costs a hundred thousand plus dollars. If you go to a first class US university, it can be two hundred thousand dollars. What do you really get for it? Uh, there was a presentation put on by someone at the TED series on how he did a four-year course uh, at MIT in computer science and did it on his own and achieved the same and spent 1% of what it would have cost to go to MIT. I'm also going to try to contact him and have a, a web conversation with him. I'm going to try to contact Stephen Krashen and have a web conversation with him. Uh, and so we can have some conversations on some of these subjects. But David wants to talk a bit about uh, David Mansory. Wants to talk a bit about uh, independent education, or and and it's really more a matter of how the person being educated is in the driver's seat and gets to choose where to get the education, and rather than having it uh, something that's marketed at him by these universities who are really selling basically four years at an institution in order to get a diploma, and you get the diploma for having spent four years at the university rather than for what you necessarily learned or, or can do. Anyway, we'll get into some of these subjects. Um, yeah, basically that's about it. Back here, I'm going to have to work through all my accumulated email and other stuff. And I look forward to, uh, to having some more exchanges with people. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.